Big old dirty girl. So we were just out of the track. We uh, were ripping the side by sides, the uh, Textron and the Maverick. So it went really well. Now we're just washing them off and then Jared's taking off. He's gonna go back up to Muskoka. He came down and then drives back in one day. That's a lot of driving, but um, yeah. And then I'm gonna take the F-150 back to the scrapyard and see if they got anything else for us. So it's time to blow up some more cars. So we're just getting it cleaned off here. We'll clean off the Maverick and we'll be good to go. I need a longer hose so I can wash over there, but it will be good. So yeah, let's get these things cleaned off and see what other trouble we can get into. Oh, dirty girl. Hi, Jared. Hi, Sam. Rev Boom, <laughs> boom. Yeah, she's uh, got a DPF back system on it, so it doesn't quite have to draw as it should. <laughs> well, see you Monday. See you Monday. Safe drive home. Hey, safe drive to Stoker. Yeah. More shenanigans. I'm going to do a yeah. safe drive into the garage. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. <That's> <laughs> All right. Later. Later. Big old weapon. The fuel efficient, big old weapon. All right, let's get this thing away and then we're gonna head down the track, load up the F-150 and see if we can get rid of that. Or maybe the Buick, maybe I'll get rid of that Buick today. Get rid of something. Oh, that's roll. Back down at the track here, you got the truck and trailer. There's Brian coming. I wanted to get rid of the F-150 today, but I still gotta cut the cats off that. So I'm gonna take back the old Buick. The one that lit on fire, so... Um, did we jump this thing? I can't remember. We jumped a lot of cars. I think, yeah, we definitely jumped this thing. The airbag went off, so we must have jumped it, but I don't think it was anything spectacular, so... Yeah, we'll take this thing back to the scrapyard, see if they have anything, and if not, then this video is gonna be pretty short, but... Uh, yeah, we got lots of exciting stuff coming up. I'm gonna run up to Muskoka next week, and... We're going to rip a G-Wagon and that F-350 and maybe some sleds, so. And then I'm going to keep an eye out for more cars. I messaged a whole bunch of people today about some F-150s, some Durangos, and I guess see if I can find some Jeeps. Uh, yeah, mainly just looking for 4x4 stuff, right? So, and then if you have any suggestions for stuff to put in the engine, let me know. Because we'll definitely blow them all up after, so. You guys seem to like when I blow them up. I mean, it's not too crazy interesting, but it's definitely a little interesting because you never know what's gonna happen. So, let's get the old Lesabaru loaded up and uh, head over to Scrap. Yeah, the old Lesabaru. I wonder when we're actually gonna get some real snow here. We got Christmas coming up quick, so. It'd be nice to, uh, you know, get some more snow and get a snowmobile figured out so we can start skipping the river and with some sled videos. For now, we'll just stick to this stuff, I guess. This old Lesabre, just a beast. <laughs> just frozen solid. Need the good baiting. That F-150, we definitely had some fun with that. But, uh, she was a good girl. But we need to get rid of that Jeep over there and uh, find some more four-wheel drive stuff. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. I'm sure enjoying making them. That Haiti trip was definitely pretty amazing. I would love to go back there again. Get this thing moved. Nine block of mud and ice. There we go. Rolling, yeah, they definitely want it to snow, that's for sure. I need some new gun lobs too. Since they're getting old, they're cracked on the front. Oh, what a car, what a car. Alright, let's get her loaded up. Things just falling apart by a second. We just lost the bumper. Front tire is pretty much off there. 
Always a good time. Do the hatch. Better lift it up. It's easier to lift it up and just back on there rather than trying to push it on. And that's how it's done. Throw her under. She is strapped up, barely. Somehow got it on there, I had to strap the hood down. Oh, anyways, yeah, it, uh, I don't like how the days are so short, but another two weeks and then they start getting longer. Day after my birthday, my birthday is December 20th, so. Anyways, let's take this back to the scrapyard and see what else they got. The old Ford. Say goodbye to the old Sabre. I never want to see one of these again because they just seem to light on fire a lot. Nice front end. Holy. Hey, I got that for <laughs> Get rid of that thing. Looks like they've cleaned up a little bit here. <laughs> I think the car pile was like up here last time. There's a lot of stuff over here. But guess I need to jump more cars. So I think we found a Jeep Liberty on Kijiji, so just waiting to hear back and hopefully I can pick it up. Let's go. Back at the compound. I uh, dropped that car off. I managed to eat a whole bunch of chocolate for lunch. Now I'm going to actually have lunch, a healthy lunch. And uh, yeah, it looks like we got a Jeep Liberty, so I'm going to go pick that up at 5. It's going to be dark, but I'm going to try and film a little bit with just with the flash. And then looks like we'll have some uh, content or some more vehicles to jump later this week. I don't know if we'll jump them, but we'll try some other stuff. So obviously it's slippery with all the snow, so I'm looking for all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicles. So pretty sure this one is a four by four or all-wheel drive. So that should work good. And then after we're done screwing around with it, we'll fill the engine with something. Maybe I'll pee in it. I don't know. And then uh, we'll blow the engine up since you guys seem to love those videos. So I can crush some lunch and we'll get out of here. A little gas is finally starting to come down. 94 cents per liter, not per gallon. So I just filled her up. Got some gas for the too. Go pick up that Jeep. Alrighty, fresh Jeep Liberty. <laughs> Should shovel some of the snow off the trailer. Look at this little rig. Oh, there goes my alarm again. <laughs> Whoops. Perfect, let's get her home. Bit of snow came down. Anyways, we got this Jeep Liberty. This thing's actually pretty sweet. Like it's it's pretty good underneath. There's like a tiny bit of rust. Like underneath actually looks really nice. This thing's definitely been taken care of. Grandma driven. Apparently he bought it for his daughter and then insurance was too much, so yeah. Anyways, it's late. I uh, I just took my I dropped my or took dropped the trailer, took my truck away. So we're gonna rip this thing tomorrow. And uh, yeah, she's a 3.7. Apparently, it's got a full tank of fuel, four by four. Obviously, this time of year, I need four by four or all wheel drive because the snow, right? You know, if you have a front wheel or a rear wheel, it doesn't go anywhere. So. I'm excited. We'll do some videos tomorrow and then hopefully get this thing jumped next week. And yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Other than that, I'm going to bed. Actually, I'm going to go edit for an hour first, then go to bed at like 1 a.m. And then, uh, yeah, we'll crush it tomorrow. Thank you guys again. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you later.